Yeah, so I told you that, you know, I'm having a lot of problems at home. Uh, primarily, my husband uh, is an alcoholic mm -hmm. and he drinks a lot. Mm -hmm. And also, I have a lot of health conditions, you know, which um, make me feel very low. And also, I'm very worried all the time about my children's future and their education. And because of all these things, you know, my husband drinks and the expenses on my medicines and my children's education and extra tuitions. We're facing um, a financial um, crisis as well. So yeah, I'm um, not in a very good position these days. Thank you for sharing all of these details. I'd in fact now like to explain to you how all of these problems are linked to each other. I'd like you to have a look at this. I've drawn a chart here with three circles. In the first circle, I've listed some of the difficulties you've been dealing with, the ones that you were just talking about, like your husband's drinking problem, your health, your finances, and your children's future. Have I represented these correctly? Yes, these are the major problems that I'm facing these days. Sure. And as you were mentioning, all of these are having a certain kind of an impact on your health and your mood as well. Is that correct? Yes. This brings me to the second circle. You talked about a few difficulties you were having, like lack of sleep and appetite lack of concentration, lack of interest in activities, and low mood. And I think you also mentioned feelings of fatigue. Is that correct? Yes, I'm tired all the time. I don't do the housework properly. It's never complete. And I'm also doing everything that I used to, like, I've stopped visiting my friends. Uh, I used to, like, going to the temple every Saturday, and I've stopped doing that as well. I just don't want to do anything. I just don't want to go out of the house anymore. Sure, so it seems like because of the difficulties, you're facing a lot of other problems as well in terms of keeping up with your normal activities. And that actually brings me to the last circle here, where I have listed some of the things you have stopped doing. Like you said, you've stopped going to the temple, you've stopped meeting your friends and your neighbours, and you've stopped doing a lot of housework. It seems as though it's difficult to cope up with these activities, is that correct? Yes, I, I've i just lost interest in all these things and I can't get myself to do anything. I just don't want to get out of bed at times and you know just lie down there and do nothing. Sure. It's not unusual at all to have these kind of difficulties when you're feeling low and the kind of problems you're dealing with can be quite overwhelming. It seems as though because of the difficulties that you're facing, your health is getting affected and also the activities that you typically did, you have stopped doing. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. You gave me an important example that because of feeling low, because of feeling fatigue, uh, you've stopped going out to the temple and meeting your friends. While in the short term, this may seem helpful because it's hard to push yourself. So if you don't go, you feel better and you conserve your energy. But in the long term, it can create more difficulties because the less you go out, the less chances there are that you may seek support from your friends, you may have some kind of distraction, or you may experience some pleasure. Is that something that's happening with you? Yes, I understand what you're saying, but I'm unable to help myself. I have too many problems and I do not know how to go about this. Sure. I appreciate the difficulties that you're facing, uh, but there is a way through our treatment where we can replace this unhelpful cycle. And the cycle is that the less you do, the worse you're likely to feel. Do you see the relationship between your mood and activities? Yes, I understand what you just explained to me and this suits me very well. I hope I can get some help from you and you know make myself feel better.
Sure. I'd like to explain a little bit about how we can replace this unhelpful cycle with a more helpful one. Would you like that? Yes, that would be very helpful. So let me explain to you the way we are going to approach this. You mentioned to me that you've stopped doing a lot of activities. We will try to introduce some of these activities one step at a time back into your routine. Hopefully, the more you do, the better you are likely to feel. And once you feel better, you are likely to be able to deal with your problems better as well. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I would like to try that again. That's wonderful. I appreciate your commitment towards getting better and let's work on this together and hopefully that will help. Right. Thank you so much.